Hey guys, I uh, hope everyone are uh, doing well. So uh, in this chapter, let us see uh, like what are Android permissions and what are Android APIs because in, so far we saw what is Android, Android architecture and later we saw how what is the APK and what are the things contains in the APK and later we saw what are the decompilers used to unpack the APK and what are the files will be there and how to do some like kind of uh, like what to do next when we decompile right so before going to further like analyze uh, the malware and getting into the malware let us understand the other important features of the android like android permissions and how the permissions will be called like suppose we call it as android apis right so let us see uh so by default an android app starts with a zero permission mandatory when the app needs to use any protected features of a device like sending an sms or opening a camera it must require some appropriate permission from the user to do so right so before marshmallow version comes into room uh, like permissions were handled uh, at an installed time and specified in android manifest so after like marshmallow when the higher version is coming up so the concept of runtime permissions is came into role so in the sense like uh, nowadays like if you have seen so if at all if you are using a app and if you are uh, sending your file or downloading a some file uh, like uh, during a runtime it will ask like so and so have uh, require this permission to store a, a file in your device like suppose for external storage or uh, suppose there is a some loan application or something right so it needs uh, uh, your contacts uh, sync uh, like to uh, you know approve your loan or to get into some paper procedures things right so these things uh, are called as runtime permissions so uh, technically android classifies the runtime permissions as a dangerous level permission because see these kind of permissions contain sensitive information suppose when it comes to the recontacts so recontacts like contacts it can fetch a contact to the use of contacts contract api so that's the api which is used to fetch a contact so uh, obviously contacts contains uh, the sensitive information of your like numbers or email or names of the your friends family and so and so right so that's why like it like it is classified as a dangerous level permission another important thing if i want to see a uh, send text message obviously uh send text me like send message is a uh, like uh like permission used so send text message or mms uh like it is a api used to call that permission so obviously this is also one of the dangerous level uh, permission because sending sms is not free in every country yeah in our country in india suppose it might be free for up to some limit so after that you want to pay for a 1 rupee or 2 rupee per sms so there will be chances like an application can misuse this feature and it can send an sms to unknown people so to to make it like to know that user that this sms is like this application is using the that feature so it is classified into runtime uh, like permission and also dangerous level permission so that user has to manually uh, like give the permission for an application to send a sms right so uh, like that uh, as i was speaking uh, in marshmallow google has uh, designated certain permissions to be saved and uh, called normal permission so normal permissions are something like which are required for an application to install suppose if you are downloading some apk so from man or play store or anywhere it needs a basic uh, thing called internet right uh, or network state right to download or to install so these are like normal permissions see these are not so effectful like it's not like it that there are there are no malicious intents from these uh, permissions there are no malicious intents but these are not so hazardous like the other permissions like recontacts or send sms or redirection storage so uh, yeah which can't do much harm so normal permissions are automatically granted at install time see like uh, hope you you have never seen an application asking uh, uh, please grant internet permission for this app right? so these will be defaultly given because this comes under the normal section and runtime permissions are that are requested uh, as they are needed while the app is running as i said you earlier so like those are the things that are needed so coming to talk about the android apis there are a lot of things like you know if at all if you want to uh, like call something like you know call logs or read a, read a calendar there are there are like specific apis if you go to the android document or like which is uh, like globally available like and it's open source we can find a lot of things and other other uh, like api calls we can tell like uh, retrofit or a volley which are used to uh, maintain http calls or a methods right so there are a, there are a lot of uh, like apis so if you if you want to talk about like it goes uh, on a dip so better like i would give uh, like uh, that open source uh, documentation link uh, you can check out everything see you guys in the next video bye bye